All right, so I'm gonna start working on this new stone wall here. And this is a new development, Hugo Culture terraced garden area. So for the rest of them, the ones that are left, I'm gonna flood them out. Hopefully they just move on. Tuning it a little bit, trying to get a nice curve here. Pretty good. Everything piled up here now, all the small and medium rock. Now I'm gonna see if I can get some of these big rocks up onto there, and then I'm gonna pull some of the smaller ones out from the front and place them behind. This is a good day as any To start the rebuilding of life The roads that lay open are many I found a pile of rocks up here Looks like I got lots of other rock walls built There's a road going up there Had a nice big pile of topsoil here too that I've been sifting over the years There's quite a few rocks just noticed in here some good chunky ones and I can feel the sun on my skin Bye. 
I've got a couple different types of rock. This round one kind of does break up all the chiseled rock a bit, but I think I did a nice job kind of matching just how it kind of looks and blends in. It's a little different, but I've got a nice little ledger there. threw all these irises here last in late summer uh, and I just piled a ton of wood chips on them and they, they came back pretty nice but they're a little bit too deep now so I am just gonna pull some of these out. Let it go. up at my house here and I've got a lot of rock number of piles and it's really nice and chiseled rock um, that came out of here actually was jackhammering some out to clear this this space at one point so I'm gonna look for some good toppers these ones are a little bit larger in this pile a lot of it's not very large but there'll be a few there's a nice flat one there's some real big rocks in that pile a lot of rock. It's so neat. So these must be like really ancient. Might as well give you a view of my house site up here since I'm up here. So it still needs a lot of work. Love to do some building videos at some point when I get back into working on her. Got a pretty nice view here. This is a dodecagon, like 12 sided. And then it has like two vaulted extensions. I need a cold shower, berries and waffles. Let's go pick some berries. Come on, I'll show you.
All right, so I pulled out a bunch of plants, some perennials and some annuals that are gonna go in this new development here. I have a current, I think it's a black one. I'm hoping it's a black. This will be quite a nice area for a current. Um, I have a bunch of different color irises that some friends gave me. Thank you, Alexis and Dave. That's super awesome. I was just looking the names up and they're super beautiful. All different shades and colors, quite spectacular. Now some Greek oregano, some rose campion. So they're just gonna get put around in this area here. Got some fertilizer out. Quite a few cucumbers left and a whole bunch of green onions. I cut them off just now because they did have thrips. Um, but yeah, so these are just gonna be poking through all the cucumbers. I'm just gonna let sprawl kind of wild here. A bunch more and trim these cukes off before I plant them. A bit of kale and four sun golds in one gallon pots. I have a bunch of other plants still that I've just been like keeping alive. Made two nice tomatillos just in this tiny little container. So I'm gonna train my squash going up that new hugelkultur slash area there. And uh, so I just keep this lower area free for all the new plants. Yep, ants again. This has been in a pot for a long time. Might do even better like this. No roots are broken off because I used water. are much redder. Don't think I'm going to have space for all of these. All right, that's a wrap. Got cukes in here and scallions. They were held back really a long time, but I think they'll come around still. So squashes are starting to take off. Got sunflower and runner beans in there as well. And uh, I do need to put some posts in for my runner beans just because the sunflowers grow slower than the runner beans if you plant them at the same time. Um, but they will eventually come around and wind onto the sunflowers too. They're gonna be late. This whole garden here is, you know, a later garden. Uh, it's the middle of July already. Pretty satisfied with the rock wall here. Did put a little bit of soil in the front there. Like my plan was to make a little bit of a bed in front to cover that smaller rock and just to lock it in. Uh, I think I won't do anything else with it this year. Next year, I'm sure it'll be a little mini flower garden or something, or probably be a good spot actually to plant some onions. Raw hugelkultur on the top there. That'll be the next step to start covering that one. Uh, but it feels good to have this bottom pretty much done now with the rock wall. And, and so I do have a little bit of a different level here, but that probably, well, it's going to sink a bit. Um, so, you know, for the first, stages of these type of fugal cultures I only plant um, annuals on them because they do settle and you do need to add more dirt plus there's like too many air pockets in there for um, for perennials uh, especially trees you wouldn't want to plant trees actually uh, right on top of a hugel culture you can plant it below uh, unless it's very well buried like I do hugel, hugel pits for trees uh, but you need you know all the air pockets out it's developing. I got plans for the top too. Um, might get to one more stage this year. And then a third, uh, third bench is going to be most likely a pallet uh, hugel uh, structural terrace bed. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Keep an eye out for our new developments and updates on this project. Keep your heart inspired. See you on the next one. Make me feel the way I do All that I want is to have you to myself